Hi everyone, welcome to our channel once again. I'm Fatima from Ole Rico, and today we're gonna be cooking some flautas ahogadas. Uh, first of all, don't mind the kitchen. Yes, it's kind of not complete right now, but since we just moved into our new warehouse, it's a work in progress, so we can't wait for you to see the final product. Okay, let's begin with our dish. We're gonna start by putting our chicken to boil. We're gonna add some water in the pan. We're gonna put about two chicken breasts on our pan and we're gonna let that boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. We put it in high and we wait on that. While that's boiling, we're gonna start to boil some potatoes as well. To your chicken, you're gonna also add some garlic salt to give it a little flavor while it boils. To my potatoes, I usually like to poke holes in it so that they can boil faster and better. You'll see when they come up. I'm adding about four potatoes. It all depends how much you like it. And of course, for how many people you're making. Once you have them all poked in, you're gonna let them boil for about also 10 to 15 minutes. For our toppings, I'm gonna use some lettuce and onion. Um, some people like to use avocado. Some people like to use tomato, but I personally don't like tomato. So that's really optional, depending on what you like. After you're done cutting the amount you want on your plate, you're gonna put it aside in another container so you can rinse it up. You're gonna put your lettuce aside and you're gonna start cutting the onion now. So the onion, we're gonna use it for two things in this case. We're gonna use half of it as a topping, and the other half, we're gonna put it in our salsa. You wanna take off the skin first, and you're gonna cut them. I preferly like the small thin slices, but if you like them bigger or full circles or square, that's really up to you. You can cut it however you please. The same thing goes with the avocado. You can cut it in layers, in squares, thin or thick, however you please. Once you're done, you're gonna set them aside for the meantime. For our sauce, we're also gonna use some green tomatoes. So right now, I'm gonna start taking off the skin and putting them aside for our sauce. You also have to rinse this because they're a little sticky because of the skin. So we wanna make sure we take it off all good and then we rinse, we rinse them properly. I'm using about six green tomatoes for my sauce. Of course, once again, it all depends how how much you like the flavor of green tomatoes, so you can add more or less. I personally don't like my sauce that spicy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using a couple of arbol chiles to go aside with my salsa. We're gonna also use a garlic clove and some onion. For our sauce, we're gonna have, we're gonna cut our onion in big pieces, and we're gonna place them aside as well with the green tomatoes. Okay, and for our last ingredient, we're gonna use some chicken soup seasoning. We want to constantly be checking on our potatoes to make sure when they're done. What I usually do, I just put my fork in them, and if they slide right off, they're ready. So after they're done, you're gonna wanna put them on a separate plate or container, and then we're gonna take off the skin and we're gonna smash them. We're gonna put our salsa in our stuff. And for our sauce, once again, we're gonna use about six tomatillos, large pieces of onion, about half an onion, you're gonna use about half an onion. You're also gonna use about a tablespoon of oregano and one clove of garlic. To spice it up, I'm only gonna use two arbol chiles. If you like it more spicy, you're more than welcome to add a little bit more, that's up to you. We're also gonna add about one tablespoon of nor chicken seasoning and then you put it on the fire. <laughs> with what we're gonna do with our potatoes, we're gonna smash them. You can either leave the skin or take it off. It's really optional. And right now, since I don't have my smasher, I'm gonna improvise with a cup, a glass cup, and I'm gonna squish them really hard. We wanna make sure we get them all really squishy because then we're gonna mix them with our chicken. Once you're done smashing your potatoes, we're gonna put them aside and then we're gonna continue with shredding our chicken. We're gonna start shredding our chicken. Um, you can do it with your hands, you can do it with two forks, whatever's easier for you. 
but since it just came out it's a little bit hot for me so I prefer to do it with two forks once you're done with your chicken you're gonna put your chicken with your potato you're gonna put them together you can use a spoon or something else to mix but I rather do it with my hands since it's easier and faster so I went ahead and passed my potato and chicken to another container since it was easier for me to mix the other one wasn't enough it wasn't big enough anyways right now we're gonna add some cheese you're gonna continue mixing until they're pretty well mixed <laughs> once you're done mixing you're gonna set it aside and then we're gonna blend our sauce you're gonna pass everything you put on your pan to your blender you want to add a little bit of water too so it can be better texture now one thing I did I added the oregano and the pollo and the chicken broth here but that's completely optional you can add it to the water you can add it once you have you you're gonna blend everything we're gonna blend for about a minute you start slow Once you're done blending, you set it aside for the meantime. We're gonna start making our tacos. We're gonna get the tortillas and we're gonna put a little bit of what you mixed. You're gonna put it inside and you're gonna start rolling. You wanna make sure your tortillas are warm. You can put them either in the microwave so they don't crack when you're rolling them. Once you're done rolling your taquitos, <laughs> We're gonna get a pan, turn it on on high, and then you're gonna put oil in it. So as you can see, my tacos are really gold, and they're hard, and they're ready to go. So we're gonna start plating and we're gonna show you the final product. It's so pretty. <laughs> Once we've plated, you can add your, all the toppings you want. I'm gonna add some cheese, some lettuce. Here you would add the tomato if you wanted some. I didn't want some, but it's completely optional once again. Then we're gonna add our onions. And finally, my avocado. Last but not least, the crema. To complete the plate, we're gonna add our sauce. I hope you like and enjoy your delicious flautas ahogadas. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the recipe of the flautas ahogadas. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Enjoy your plate.